Hello everybody. Today with the help of this video, I am going to tell you how to install the Android APK files on SD card or USB storage or you can say the external storage. For this purpose, you need to perform some of the following steps. If not already installed in your computer, you need to install the Java JDK and Android SDK in your computer. After installing the Android SDK, launch the SDK manager and install the packages as directed in my guidance video, which I will be telling you later. The second step you need to perform is to connect your Android device with USB debugging enabled. Both these steps has been explained in my guidance video. If you need guidance on installation of Java JDK and Android SDK and connecting the Android device, you need to have a look at my video. You need to click on Vikas file Indian link right below the video. This is how you can go for it. Right below to this video which you are watching is a link to Vikas files channel. Click on Vikas file and you will be redirected to my channel page. Now click on videos. You will be redirected to my video section. In the video section navigate to the video which is titled as how to install android apps on sd card by default without rooting click on this video and you will be given the full guidance about how to install the android sdk or java jdk or the device to be connected to the computer you can also reach this video by searching on youtube this is how you can search for it type how to install android apps on sd card by default without rooting and click on the search button the video by indian or vikas pile is my video and you can have the full guidance after installing java jdk and android sdk with all tools and packages installed the next step is to navigate to adb utility in the platform tools folder of android sdk installation directory and launch the terminal window Make sure that you have installed the Android device with USB debugging enabled and the device USB drivers are installed so that ADB utility can detect the Android device attached. This is my platform tools folder of Android SDK installation directory where I shall be using the ADB utility. For using this ADB utility, we need to launch the terminal window. Hold the shift button and right click and click on open command window here and the terminal window is opened. You need to check if the ADB utility successfully detects the android device or not. For this purpose we need to issue the following command. Type ADB devices and the list of devices attached will be displayed. This is my android mobile attached to the computer. Now the next step is to install the android apk files in sd card of the device. For this purpose, if you have android apk files in sd card, then you need to copy all such to be installed apk files to the computer and get the location where it has been saved. This is my apk file which I shall be installing in SD card. Now to install in SD card the first step is to get to know the location of this particular APK file where it has been saved. Right click on this particular APK file and click on properties and you will get to know the location. This particular file is saved in APK folder of C directory. Then now the next step is to get back to the terminal window and Give the command to the ADB to install this particular XYZ APK file to SD card. This is how you are going to give the command. Type ADB install dash S or minus S and then give the location of that particular Android APK file. The location is C colon slash apk folder slash com dot xyz dot apk 
and press enter and you see this command is installing the android apk file in the device if it is successfully installed then you will see a message of success on the terminal window see success message has been flashed and you are done you have successfully been able to install this particular apk file in sd card the same process applies for the rest of the apk files in this command the dash s denotes or is giving the instruction to adb utility to install the particular android apk file in sd card of the android device if you want to install it it in internal memory then you need to issue the same command but remove dash s thank you very much thanks once again for watching the video and please do not forget to give the feedback thank you once again